Hey everyone, it's Justin Ryan here, and you are watching the very first episode ever of the Spatial Insider. As it says, see the vision, that's what we're all about here, bringing you the latest and greatest for apps, updates, and news for Vision OS, Vision Pro, and spatial computing. People online say that no one's talking about the Vision Pro. Well, we're here to change that because there's so much exciting things going on for this platform. So let's jump right into it with some of the updates and some of the things that have hit my radar over the last couple of weeks as it relates to Vision Pro. But first, let's start with a trip down in Cupertino. So we had the Create Immersive Storytelling session for developers in Cupertino just a couple of weeks ago. It was an amazing amazing event. So let me just give you a little bit of insight of what this is like. So you walk into this development center. It's beautiful. You've got the beautiful Apple design. They greet you. You walk in, you get a little badge with your name on it with the Apple logo, which is always really cool. You walk behind this wall. You've got a lot of developers there that you get to network and build relationships. They've got water and snacks there for you. And then you walk into this really beautiful auditorium and you can see this photo up here where it says hello. That is basically up on stage with the glowing Apple logo as you're waiting for the event to begin. And then the Vision Pro evangelists come out and they walk you through all of the cool content. So for this one, it was all about creating immersive stories on the Vision Pro, you know, the ultimate storytelling device. And we had a couple apps that they highlighted. So this one was the Dinosaur Encounters app and the level of detail was shocking. I've never actually paid that much attention to this dinosaur. You gotta go back and check it out. They broke that all down for us. And then the Vision Pro is so amazing. Like look at this photo here. When the tail whips out of the portal or the, the background, the tail actually takes in the color of your actual room and you'll see a difference in the color of the tail from what's in the in the environment and what's not in the environment in your environment it's it's really really fascinating then right here and right here they were breaking down how to create immersive environments and how to leverage the processor on the apple vision pro not to slow it down too much but to really make it shine and this photo right here was pretty fascinating just to see how they how they created the lake at the mount hood environment it was an awesome event after the event we held a little get together for developers so Shout out to Matt, one of my great friends here with Vision Pro. He and I got together and we invited a couple people from the event to join us for just a happy hour afterwards. We planned on maybe like 10 or so and it quickly turned into tables full of developers and we were hanging out all night long, just sharing all of the awesome experiences. And as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, how cool is this that I'm just in this world of people that love the Vision Pro and love immersive storytelling, right across the table from me is someone from France who's creating these awesome experiences. On the other side of the table is another gentleman who was the first person ever to live stream high definition in 4K TV. Like, just so cool. If you ever get the chance to go to a developer event, I highly recommend that you do that. You could do that through the developer website for Apple. There's an events link. Click and register. I'd love to see you there. Hopefully Apple invites me back. It's such an amazing experience. So just wanted to share that with you and let you know that the energy for Vision Pro and Vision OS is incredibly high. There's a lot of people building some awesome things for this platform. All right, let's jump into the next one. So the next one, and this one's big, and it is Vision OS 2.4 Beta 3 just came out this week. It's got this beautiful welcome screen and this beautiful what's new window that basically breaks it down for the Spatial Gallery, the new My Vision Pro app on your iPhone. Also, Apple Intelligence has started on the Vision Pro. Some people said it wouldn't come on this first generation model, but here it is. And then also this new guest feature for nearby. So ultimately, if someone puts on your Vision Pro near you, it'll pop up a thing on your iPhone or your iPad where you can give them permission to hop in. You could also select which apps they get to use. It's better much better experience than the, uh, the old way of doing things. It was quite clunky. So that feature is really cool. 
But I wanted to jump into the Spatial Gallery app because candidly, this is one of the most amazing pieces of software I've ever experienced. And I'm not lying. One of the most beautiful pieces of software. I love it so much that I took the app icon and I moved it all the way over to my main home screen. That's how much I love this app. And as you look around, you just feel like you're looking through multiple portals. I love how the text is just laid so perfectly on the surface of the image. And then as, the, as you click on the videos, the text pops out in front. When you close the video, the text goes back on the surface of the image. It is just so fascinating. And what I'm hoping for, right now it's curated content. I'm hoping that Apple or someone else creates a social media platform that really leverages spatial video and spatial photography in this level of design. Like it's just, it's so stunning. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. It came available on Vision OS 2.4 Beta 2. And um, if you're not into betas, just know that the public release is scheduled to come out in April. A beautiful, beautiful app, one of my favorites. Speaking of apps, this now moves us into the Vision Pro app that's available for your iPhone. I like that we've got this as an option. You could ultimately do remote downloads of Vision OS apps to your device. You could add things to your watch list. Candidly, it's a little limited right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing this app evolve as we move along here. All right, next, let's talk immersive video. We've had a lot of immersive videos starting to hit the Vision Pro. So we had Arctic surfing, which everyone, <laughs> if you're into drone photography and surfing and Norway, it's the perfect combination of all of those things. I highly recommend it. And then we've got deep water solo here. I've had some conversations back and forth on LinkedIn with the director of this. Pretty cool to see everything that goes into filming these experiences. This one's probably one of my favorites, both of these, just so well done. I feel like the directors and the editors are really getting into their own when it comes to immersive video storytelling. And then this broke this week, which I think was a surprise for many because it was announced just yesterday and it's going to be available this Friday. And that is that Apple has shot some of Metallica's concert down in Mexico City from 2024. It was a sold out show and we get to hear three of their songs. I think there was like 14 immersive cameras and they had to create a whole new system for filming this. I can't wait to check this out. So again, on March 14th, this Friday, it's going to be available. As we look at other immersive videos that are coming up, we've got the VIP Yankee Stadium experience that will be available in April. And then we've got the Bono uh, feature or the full length feature film coming in May. So May 30th. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. Now let's pivot and let's start to discuss some apps. And so this one is called Talking Heads and it probably creates a lot of mixed emotions. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of characters ultimately of historical figures that you can select and you can speak with. And they tried to recreate their voice and their likeness. And so it's as if you're speaking to Thomas Edison or Abraham Lincoln. And I was given early access to a Steve Jobs, a young Steve Jobs. This was a pretty cool experience. And I know it's causing some emotions like, hey, it's kind of creepy, kind of weird. Um, there is a talk that Steve Jobs gave back in 1985 where he talks about how cool it would be to have a conversation with Aristotle and hear from him and, and his words. And so I think it's, it's kind of a cool space that we can have some opportunity to ask some questions um, to a character that has the same voice and framing in some ways as the actual human had. And um, so I know it raised a lot of questions, but I wanted to give Matt a huge shout out because I think he's building something quite fascinating him and his team that no one has ever built before. So check that one out. It's called Talking Heads, available now on the App Store. Next here is the NBA app, this tabletop view. Everyone, <laughs> this is going to change sports. And when these characters actually look like the actual players, it's going to be insane. I'm also blown away by how well this tracks the character movement. 
when the ball moves, the way the players move, it tracks it so perfectly. Let's go back here. And um, I, I sent out a tweet or a post, whatever they're called nowadays, and one of the developers, and I've kind of blocked out their names because I, I know they're on this team, but I don't know how public they want this to be, but it, it got quite a bit of attention. And he said, man, you're really gonna love what we have coming. So I can't wait to see how this app evolves. If you have not checked out the tabletop option in the NBA, you really, really need to. All right, next, let's jump into this next one that's called Tubular Pro. And it's essentially for those of you that like to watch YouTube, obviously there's not a YouTube app right now on the Vision Pro, but this is a great option to check out. It's currently in test flight. It might not ever come to the App Store, but it's free and it works really, really well. It's got the Vision OS design, everything into it. I highly, highly recommend it. Next, this one is called Aegis Core, and it basically uses your environment to drop robots inside of your space. I love that you go over here and you touch this little helmet and it puts it on top of your head so you kind of feel like the weight on your head is this actual helmet. And then you all of a sudden get to pull your arms apart and you've got a gun and you get to fire and shoot all of these little robot characters that populate inside of your space. It's really, really cool. And I know the developer is building quickly and iterating quickly on this app. Highly recommend that you give that one a try also. Then another one that I tried recently is called Greenify. And it basically augments your space and puts plants and butterflies and bees all over in your area. You can touch the couch, touch the chairs, touch the desks and the, full, the plants <laughs> start to pop up. It's a pretty cool experience. It starts to really change the look and feel of your space and there will be different plants and things they're gonna create up in future updates. Highly recommend that you check that one out also. I do wish that you had some occlusion there with your hands so far. That's not currently in the app, but I think it's coming. Highly check that one out or highly recommend that one. Next, this one's one of my favorite apps and it's called Touch Desk. And with Touch Desk, you could draw on a surface and it's probably the one I've seen work the absolute best. They recently came out with an update that you can draw on vertical surfaces. So you basically put your window flush against your wall and then you just draw with your right hand, with your right index finger, and you slide the board or slide the, the canvas with your left hand. You can use different pens and brushes and erasers. It's, it's really cool. And um, so here I was late night in my home gym just drawing on the black painted wall there in my office. It's really, really cool. If you haven't tried it again, uh, check it out. It's called Touch Desk. All right, next, I wanted to share this with you, and that is that Moana 2 is now available through the Disney Plus app in 3D, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, 4K Ultra. It is a pretty great experience. 3D movies on the Vision Pro is unlike anything else I've ever tried when it comes to 3D. And for some reason with this one, I noticed it more than in others, but I get up, I get closer to it, I move around, and I feel like the, the 3D is shifting with my movement. It's, it's really cool. Check it out also. And then I wanted to tee this up. I'm starting a new series that I'm calling the Spatial Builders, where it's introducing you to some of my favorite Vision OS developers and those that are really pushing this space forward as well as some creatives in the immersive video space. So look forward to more of these interviews. Episode one is currently available. It features Carson from the awesome app called Crayon on Vision Pro, and she walks through the inspiration behind her app and, and all of the things that she's done to create this experience for us, the Vision Pro users. So more episodes to come. I'm already having conversations with developers and I'm recording a couple more tomorrow, so you'll see more of these episodes coming out soon. So with that, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this entire video for those of you that watched. I know this is early, this is the very first episode ever of the Spatial Insider, but I look forward to having more of these episodes and bringing you the latest and greatest for apps, news, and updates for Vision Pro. If you like this and if you're into Vision Pro, go ahead and like, follow, and subscribe. It means a lot to me as we bring this space forward and, and introduce it to more and more people. So with that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.